Today I'm in San Francisco at the Warfield. We're about ready to put on a show for Zomboy. It's part of the shows on the Rotten Roll Tour this summer. I've been having a blast and I wanted to make a quick video to show you how to create position presets like this using nothing more than running effects stored to a preset. It's gonna speed up your programming an immense amount. I think you'll really find this interesting. We have to make sure we start with a really clean and tidy and precise uh, position that we're building our effects off of. Otherwise, the resulting positions aren't gonna be clean and tidy either. So you can see I have a really, really generic, straight out, like 25 degree tilt up uh, position that we have here, and we're going to apply the effect on top of that first. So I'll go over to my play page and choose circle, uh, change my winks to the number of four, and my groups to two. We'll try two for now. Now all I'm gonna do is run the effect with just a little bit of speed, not a whole lot, like 45 BPM. So we have the effect running here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to stop it when I find a position that I like. So I'm thinking right there. So all I did is I just slid the movement speed fader down to zero. And now we have this position, which I didn't spend any time really doing. And it's pretty much pre-made and I would like to store that as a preset. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to go to my layout view, select all of my fixtures. These are Roby pointies. Um, in this case, go over to my positions tab, hold down store to bring up our store options uh, menu, I guess, or screen. Um, and we're going to change our data source from programmer to output. So programmer means anything we've entered into the programmer either by calling presets or manually entering data. Uh, output is taking whatever the DMX output is currently, regardless of its source. So we're going to change to output, and then we're going to change use selection to the option all for selected. And now we're just going to simply tap on a tile, and that position preset is stored. I can prove that by exiting out of everything, clearing, no longer running an effect, and if I call that position, all of our lights go to our effect position that we made using no encoders, no align, 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 no fan, no offset, anything, just using the built-in effect generator. So let's do that again with a slightly different method. So we're gonna go back to our straight out position. I'm going to change my circle to a different circle. I've programmed my wings to four and my groups to four. And now let's see, I'll bring the speed up a little bit and then we will see what kind of things we can find in here. It's important to do the wings of two when you're doing these positions because uh, that provides the symmetry. So I don't see too much I like with this so far, so I'm gonna switch back to my original circle. And then we'll maybe do groups of four. And it might be interesting, let me try something new here. Groups of three with a phase of like 90. So I think if I go up, this will be kind of a cool little cross-in type deal. So let's see here. There. Now that is really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and again, go back to my layout view, select my fixtures, positions, hold down store, bring up our store options, change our output or our data source to output, all for selected, tap a tile. And a, a position that would have taken you know, probably five minutes to actually make. I made it in like 30 seconds. So we'll clear out and I will show you that that is actually a position that's stored. And we can go back to that other one we just made. Easy peasy. Let's do one more just for the fun of it. I'll do cross two. Cool. There we go, another position. Um, you can also alternatively just type the group number of your fixtures, uh, go to your positions preset page, hold down store, output, all for selected, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Now we have these three positions that were generated solely from the effects engine playing back live. So this is a really good technique if you're in a crunch for time and you just wanna build something quick and dirty. This is something you can knock out like 10 positions in five minutes using uh, your effects generator that you built because you watched my other video, right? About how to build 
you know, custom modifiable effects. Anyways, there's a video on that. You can click on the card in the upper right hand part of the screen to check that video out as well. If you found this video useful, I would really appreciate it if you hit that red subscribe button down below, check out all the other videos on my channel, maybe leave a comment or two. It's all good, whatever you feel like doing, but thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.